Is here anyone who can have an advantage or a disadvantage? Here. Now. In the world, in the system. What? No words. Am I someone who can have an advantage or a disadvantage? Do I exist as an entity who can have an advantage or a disadvantage? Or is it the projection of myself? The ego, whatever. I just use words to talk to myself <laughs> for no reason. Why? Why not? So, in that thinking process, in this cultural experience, of a human being there it can be the thought that there would be someone who can have an advantage but shouldn't I just brush it all away all this cultural thoughts all the ideas which idea can I take for real can I take any idea for real? Why should I? Why shouldn't I? Do I have the choice? No. But take it. <laughs> Choose as much as you like. But whatever I can choose never will be the truth. <laughs> this sounds nice. Whatever I can choose, it will never be the truth. And when I listen to the words, whatever I, I can choose, it sounds like, uh, yes, it's just an input. It's an input of this idea I call it the thought I am someone with a free will to choose my best why shouldn't I not choose the best because I have no choice <laughs> but back, back again to this nice question is here anyone who has an advantage or if I take here my imagination and say is there anyone in the whole universe in the whole experience of aliveness who has an advantage no <laughs> and it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if there is anyone or not why course this what is living me is living everyone else is living everything and to be this what is living everything is the absolute advantage but it doesn't have one who has an advantage And it doesn't have one who has a disadvantage. So... You can't stop yourself from realizi realizing yourself. And you are still what you are. What you cannot not be. 
like a drop. My personal story is like a drop falling from the sky into the ocean. And in, in this short time when I'm falling and I'm identified with this drop being separate in the environment, oh me the little drop. Oy, oy, oy. I experience individuality, separateness. And then I drop into the ocean and then there's no difference between me and the ocean. Then this what I am, is this what the ocean is. And every night I drop into this endless ocean, deep, deep sleep, gone, <laughs> and then wee, waking up as a little drop, dropping around, and then the drop tries to drop his personal story to feel like the ocean again, to feel free, to feel limitless. But can the drop feel limitless? Can I feel limitless? No, I can only feel, experience myself limited, in limitation. I just can experience me in limitation. Yeah, just one limitation after the other. Just experiences are limited. Or not? Who knows? Maybe there are endless experiences of limitation and this endless experiences of limitation is again the unlimitedness of what is. But who needs to call it like this? The problem is just not wanting to experience limitless limits just because you no no i'm not limited but i experience it in the way i think i would experience it but what do i know Ah, what do I know? Do I know that I experience the world? Do I know that I experience life? It's just oh, blah 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 blah. Just an output from the input. This little body mind nervous system had a lot of input and now it's coming out and it's nothing special and it's not right not wrong oh my god <laughs> wow. Gaga da gaga da gaga.